Hello, my friends. It's me again, your favorite denture wearer. I sure hope everybody's doing okay today. Let me turn you around this way a little bit. Somebody asked me, why is it that <laughs> it takes so long to get suction on my top denture when I first put it in? So I asked them a couple of questions. How the, what's their morning routine and things like that? And it brought to mind something that I was doing. So I explained what I do now and they said they're having fantastic luck with that now. So what happens is uh, I personally brush my gums with a toothbrush, toothpaste, roof of my mouth, my tongue, my lips, every, you know, down inside my lips, everything up in my lips area, the whole nine yards. And then I rinse with water and then I rinse with mouthwash. Now, something that a lot of people don't understand is that mouthwash leaves a slick residue in your mouth. So if you rinse with mouthwash and you spit that out and you immediately put your dentures in, your mouth is slick. So it's hard to get the dentures, the top denture especially, to stay in place with suction because it's slippery. It wants to slide around in there. It, we all that are adhesive free have little movements in our dentures. And even using denture fit, I still have little movements in my top denture. But what I realized was that I would rinse my mouth with mouthwash, spit that out, I'd scrub my dentures down, put them in, and my top denture wouldn't suction in. It always felt like it wanted to break loose on one side. And that's because that slight little movement and the residue from the mouthwash was keeping it slick enough that the denture could move more and didn't want to suction in. And if you don't believe me, <laughs> when you rinse your mouth out with mouthwash, take some water and rinse your mouth again and spit it out and see how foamy it is. Do that two or three times. When you can spit it out and it's clear and it's not foamy, then you know you've got all the residue from the mouthwash out. Now, yes, I like to rinse my mouth with mouthwash and have a nice, fresh mouth. I like that feeling of breathing in and having that nice, cool, fresh breath going into my lungs. But that's not good for your dentures. That's not good for getting suction on your top denture if you're not wearing adhesive. It's slippery. It doesn't allow your denture to grip the gums properly. So because of that residue, I have had issues with my denture not wanting to seat properly because it can move slightly and more than normal. And it would take a while for me to get it to seat properly and I would have to fight with it for a little while to get it to seat properly because I wasn't rinsing my mouth out after I used my mouthwash. So that's a trick for you when you're rinsing your mouth out with mouthwash, rinse your mouth with water two or three times after that. You'll notice when you put your denture in that it fits a little better. It feels better. It's a little tighter. It suctions in a little better. And you won't have to fight with it as much. So I told this person that, and they tried that, and they said, boom, it works. It works great. I've been doing that for quite a while now because I fought with my dentures forever. So what I do now is, because I want that nice, fresh feeling when I breathe in first thing after putting my dentures in, I rinse with water two or three times. I spit that out and make sure it's clear and it's not foamy at all. That tells me I've got all the residue from the mouthwash out of my mouth. Then I put my dentures in. Then I do a quick swish with the mouthwash once I know the dentures are seated because that way it gets all over my tongue and in my cheeks and stuff like that, but not under the dentures. So the dentures stay seated, but I can still get that fresh breath when I breathe in first thing in the morning after putting my dentures in. So just a quick rinse, just a little, and that gives me that 
you know, it gets into my cheeks and my lips and everything else, and I can still have that fresh breath that I like to have first thing in the morning. So try that because I think that's going to make a big difference with you guys that are going adhesive free and having issues with the denture, the top denture, not suctioning in right away in the morning when you first put your dentures in. Give that a shot because I would almost guarantee that that's going to make a big improvement in how well your dentures fit and how well they seat into the roof of the mouth like they're supposed to for that suction. And for those of you that are using adhesive as well, I had another comment of somebody that was using adhesive that said, I can't get the adhesive to stick to my gums. It sticks to the denture, but it won't stick to my gums. There you have it. The residue from the mouthwash leaves a film on your inside your mouth. That's why for 20 minutes to an hour after you rinse your mouth, you can go and you still have that cool feeling because it sticks to the inside of your mouth. It sticks everywhere. You need to rinse your mouth out with water several times before you put your dentures in with adhesive. You'll notice when you do that, the adhesive sticks better. It tightens up your dentures more and it feels better because you don't have that residue in there interfering with that adhesive. Give that a shot. Let me know in the comments if it works or not. I know it will because I've been doing this for a while now. <laughs> That's it for today, my friends. Uh, I hope everybody has an amazing day. I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to keep smiling, keep trying, and whatever you do, never give up.